Hello all, I am Jacob Brown with Northwestern Wildside. We are a few short hours away from the first kickoff of the 2020 season. And what feels like it's been forever without Northwestern football. Uh, Northwest will be ho uh, hosting the Maryland Terrapins uh, at Ryan Field as we see here. And unfortunately there won't be any fans this year, but Northwestern students and fans can still uh, make a point of having Purple Pride and Northwestern Wildside is here to help you. Uh, first, for those who aren't familiar with American football, here's a little intro from the NFL, the American Professional Football League. American football is a game played on a 100-yard field by two teams of 11 players. In the NFL, squads of 53 players make up each side's offensive, defensive, and special teams units that take turns on the field. The aim of the game is move the ball into the opponent's end zone to score a touchdown an extra point. This is achieved by moving the ball down the field in a series of plays or downs. They can do this either by passing the ball through the air from quarterback to receiver or by a running back rushing the ball along the ground. The offense must move the ball at least 10 yards downfield every four plays in order to keep possession of the ball and earn another four downs to drive towards the opponent's end zone. If the defense prevent them making these 10 yards, the team with the ball must either front possession of the ball to the opposition, or if close enough, attempt to kick a field goal between the upright posts. American football is a game. And so that was a really good introduction to uh, American football. Pardon my technical difficulties. Uh, but some additional things that the video did not mention is that there is a game clock for the game. It is not played uh, until a certain score is reached, but rather there are four quarters comprised of 15 minutes each. And the game is won by the team who has the most points at the end of this 60 minute game. Uh, there are penalties in the game. Uh, for instance, you cannot hold an opponent, uh, a hold an opponent's jersey uh, as that would restrict their movement. Uh, and referees, as you can see here in the upper right photo, uh, are in the game and call and enforce these penalties. Uh, and some penalties will be against the offense and some will be against the defense. Uh, and there are typically, uh, as the name implies, penalties to these uh, improper actions. For instance, uh, if Northwestern has the ball in its first and 10, and one of the Northwestern or the Maryland players rather uh, moves before the ball is hiked and crosses onto the Northwestern side of the line of scrimmage, uh, the referee will blow the play dead and call an offsides penalty, meaning that the uh, defensive player was off their side of the field that they should be on before the ball is snapped. And that would be a five yard penalty, which would result in Northwestern instead having a first down in five yards to go rather than a first down in 10 yards to go. This may not make a ton of sense right now, but as you watch the games and experience it, it'll all click. Uh, and here are some phrases to impress your friends while you're watching the game. Uh, you don't really have to understand them, uh, but if you, uh, unless one of your friends is a, a football analyst or something of the sort, uh, these phrases will definitely uh, let you stick out and seem to know a lot, even if you don't. So saying a quarterback has good pocket presence is something that's uh, really, really uh, intelligent and will make you seem really knowledgeable to your friends. Here pictures Clayton Thorson, uh, a former Northwestern quarterback who is now on the practice squad for the New York Giants in the NFL. And pocket presence is just something you say about the quarterback. Uh, once they have the ball, and it just means they know what they're doing. Uh, grit is exactly what it sounds like, uh, having a lot of perseverance and strength in going and playing the game. Uh, another good thing to say about any players, it'll make you sound very educated. Audible is when a team changes the play at the line of scrimmage. So before uh, a play, you see the quarterback uh, sort of pointing and screaming things and having players move. He's audibling and changing the play. And then instinct is a good thing that you can say about any football player. You can say they have good instinct and they know what they're doing, and that'll always earn you some points. Uh, as far as Northwestern football, we are the Northwestern Wildcats. Here's Willie, uh, the Northwestern Wildcat, uh, our leader, spiritual leader off the field. Uh, as far as the field, Northwestern plays at Ryan Field, one of the most historic stadiums uh, in all of college football. Uh, you'll find it uh, a little north of campus. Uh, but it's still very accessible to students. Uh, there's always shuttles that the university provides to get to and from games, and it creates an awesome game uh, game atmosphere. Uh, our Northwestern football is coached by uh, Coach Pat Fitzgerald, who is pictured here, also known as Coach Fitz. Uh, he is respected enormously around 
uh, not only the Big Ten, where the Conference Northwestern plays in, but all of college football in general for his commitment to doing things the right way and his success both as a coach and the success he had in his career as a Northwestern player. And as far as program success, Northwestern has really seen a lot of success uh, in the recent years. In 2018, they saw themselves winning the Big Ten West uh, for the first time in a really long time, uh, which was a really big deal for the program. We got to go uh, to Indianapolis to watch Northwestern play in the Big Ten Championship. Unfortunately, they lost, but still a huge deal. And in the last five seasons, Northwestern has averaged about eight wins per season in a season that only has 12 games. So Northwestern football has been quite successful recently. As far as the game day experience, uh, we're not going to get to experience it this year uh, necessarily the way you would in the past because of COVID, but there's still going to be a lot uh, for students and fans uh, but as far as the usual game day experience, uh, for the first football game, you usually have the first year tailgate, which will be at the softball field behind Ryan Field. Uh, and there will be food, music, fun. Uh, and the Wildcat Dash is a tradition before the first home game of the season. All the first years sprint across Ryan Field, and it's really a good time. Uh, while we might not have that this year, I'm sure the class of 2024 will get an option to do that, uh, whether it be in person down the line or something virtual this year. Uh, the student section, as you can see pictured here, uh, holds about 5,000 students and is really a good time, always a good atmosphere and packed to the brim uh, with students. And the Northwestern University Marching Band is a big part of creating this uh, student atmosphere. Uh, they they uh, constantly playing music, not only cheer tunes, but also uh, the Go You Northwestern fight song, which is always important, but they are also play a large part in the halftime show in the pregame. Uh, the pregame for Northwestern football is always a lot of fun. Have the team run onto the field. Uh, Northwestern University marching band play Push On Northwestern and Go You Northwestern. Uh, two songs that always get fans into it. Uh, and they call themselves the finest band in the land, and no one disputes that. So we really uh, are fortunate to have a really good marching band that leads us in a really, game, uh, really good pregame. As far as in-game traditions go, uh, there are a few that you can reproduce in your own home. For instance, whenever Northwestern gets the first down, uh, gets a first down, the Northwestern uh, marching band will play a portion of the song Push On Northwestern, uh, and fans will uh, do something with their hands in accordance to the song to signify that Northwestern got a first down. It goes a little something like this. Uh, I totally played the wrong clip, uh, so this will be a good outtake. I'm probably going to leave it in just so you can see a little personality about me. Not always the most organized, but love Northwestern sports. Uh, but regardless, I'll sing it. It's a da 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 go cats. And then someone in the band will say, what time is it? And then all the fans will say, time to move the chains, whoosh. And then that signifies that Northwestern gets a first down. That's what the referees do when Northwestern gets a first down. They move the chains and then they point like this. So that's a fun tradition for us. Uh, another tradition is that whenever Northwestern scores, uh, the band will play the fight song and the uh, spirit leaders from the band will go out and do push-ups in accordance with how many points Northwestern has, uh, which I personally cannot do nearly as many push-ups as they can, uh, but they do a lot. And then finally, on third downs, uh, the stadium, uh, in-stadium PA, will play the song for Who the Bell Tolls uh, by Metallica. I definitely can't play that in this video because uh, we'll have copyright constraints, uh, but I can do a little singing again. Uh, I apologize for uh, you having to listen to me sing. Uh, but fans, students in the stands will do this when the when the song is played. They'll go da 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 And that's just to get people hyped and create an atmosphere for third down in which Northwestern is trying to really get a big stop and limit the other team. Finally, at the end of the game, everyone will come together and sing the alma mater in the student section, and the football team will come over and join us in what creates a really cool experience. Uh, so here is the fight song. Uh, we're going to sing it together. Uh, it'll be played uh, at the start of the game, end of the half, end of the game, uh, and whenever Northwestern scores. So I'm going to sing it, and it's going to be really uncomfortable for both me uh, and the person not watching if you don't sing. So uh, join me in singing the fight song. You Northwestern, break right through that line. With our colors flying, we will cheer you all the time. You rah, rah. Go, you Northwestern, fight for victory. Spread far the fame of our fair name. Go, Northwestern, win that game. Boop, 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 boop. Go, Northwestern, go. 
do, 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 do. Go Northwestern, go. Hit him hard, hit him low. Go Northwestern, go. Go you Northwestern. Break right through that line. With our colors flying, we will cheer you all the time. You rock, rock. Go you Northwestern. Fight for victory. Spread for the fame of our fair name. Go Northwestern, win that game. Go Cats. Uh, and so put some faces to names uh, so you'll be a little more familiar with the team coming Saturday. Uh, you already saw Coach Pat Fitzgerald. Uh, this is Coach Mike Bajakian, the new offensive coordinator, also known as Coach Jake, hired this year. Uh, Northwestern was able to steal him away from Boston College where he had tons of success. Uh, pictured in the top left is Peyton Ramsey. Uh, he's a graduate transfer quarterback from Indiana coming in this year, reworking the offense as our new quarterback. Picture in the top right, number 42, Patty Fisher. He's a linebacker, leader of the defense, projected to be an NFL draft pick in an all uh, Big Ten uh, preseason honoree this year. Bottom left-hand corner, Blake Gallagher, another senior linebacker uh, for the Cats, and he's also projected uh, to be an NFL draftee, as is J.R. Pace in the bottom right-hand corner, a senior safety and another leader on the defense. And finally, in the middle, uh, in the bottom, we have Riley Lease, who is a senior, uh, best hair on the team by a wide margin, a wide receiver, very fast, and also returns punts and kickoffs for the Cats. Uh, and so how do you get involved? First of all, watch the games. Come to the games when you're able to. But since that's not going to be able to happen this year, watch the games. Uh, they will all be televised, whether it be uh, on Big Ten Network or ESPN or ABC or other medians in uh, some ways to find where and when they are being televised are using ESPN and Northwestern apps, but also uh, from following some of these Twitter pages. Uh, this is the Northwestern official football uh, account and UFB family on uh, Northwestern wild side, the student section, always a good follow. Coach Fitzgerald has his own tag. Inside NU, WNUR sports are two great uh, content places to get, web, uh, to get content articles uh, videos, learn more about Northwestern football. Uh, and then finally, this is my Twitter, uh, shameless plug. Uh, but thank you for watching. And uh, I hope everyone is excited as I am to watch the cats get a win tomorrow. Go cats.